Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.6 and problem number 2.84. A long ladder supported at A and B as shown in figure. A vertical load W can have any position as defined by the distance A from the bottom. Neglecting friction, determine the magnitude of the reaction R at B. Neglect the weight of the ladder. That means here we can find a ladder. AB is a ladder. The weight of the ladder is neglected. A weight W is acting on the ladder at a distance of A from the bottom. The total length of the ladder is given as L and the ladder makes an angle alpha. Our interest is to find the reaction force developed at B. For that, let us consider the free body diagram of the ladder. The various forces acting on the ladder are, of course, the weight W. And at point B, there is only one reaction. The reason being, at point B, the ladder is not permitted to move in the horizontal direction. Hence, a reaction force will develop. But at B, the ladder can permit it to move in the vertical direction. Hence, no vertical reaction will develop. But at A, ladder is neither permitted to slide along horizontal direction nor permitted to slide along vertical direction. Hence, both reactions will develop at point A. That means if you consider the ladder, there is a weight which acts at a distance of small a from the bottom that is capital A and length of the ladder is small l and the ladder makes an angle alpha. The other reaction forces are clearly we can see there is a reaction force, a horizontal reaction force Rb because it is not permitted to move horizontally at B. But, is, but, it, but the ladder is permitted to move vertically, hence no vertical reaction. At coming to A, both reactions will develop, RAH and RAB, because at A, the ladder is not permitted to slide along horizontal direction and vertical direction. Now, our interest is to find the value of RB. For that, we will take the moments about point A. RAH and RAV are passing through the point A will not introduce any moment. W will create a moment in this direction that is clockwise and RB will give a moment in the counterclockwise direction. Both acts in the opposite direction. Now, we required the distances. This is the distance I want. And similarly, this is the distance I want. That is the distance from line of action to the point of moment. So by considering the right angle triangle ACD, I can say AC value is small a. Hence AD, I can say it is A into cos alpha. And similarly, if you consider this triangle, a big triangle, that is A, B and E, A, B, E triangle from the A, B, E triangle. So this angle is alpha. Hence, A, E distance, I can say it is L into sine alpha. Hence, I can take the moments about point A. Then W into the perpendicular distance A cos alpha that is equal to Rb into the force multiplied by this multiplied by the distance. The force is Rb and the distance is L sin alpha. So Rb into L sin alpha. Our interest is to find Rb. So upon simplification, I will get Rb is equal to W into A into cos alpha by L sin alpha or Rb is equal to W A by L into cot alpha is the answer for the given problem. 